ever been to a gas station or a candy store or anywhere that sells candy and you've found two products that look very similar, they might even have the same flavors, and you just don't know which one to buy? Do you buy the angsty packaged sour candy or do you buy the kid-friendly one? Which is better? You don't know, but I'm gonna find out just for you. So what we have in front of us today are two different flavors of sour strips. We have blue raspberry and green apple. Pretty popular candy flavors. Yeah. And then we've also got the Haribo sour streamers with added zing. And these okay. come in green apple, orange, blue raspberry, and cherry. So today we're going to compare both of these products. They're okay. clearly made by different companies straight away you notice the different packaging. Yeah. The Haribo, it's very friendly. It's very inviting. It says zing on the package. It says zing. It's got action words. It has mm -hmm. this weird little character. I it was a slug at first. It, it's, yeah. It's just a living candy. It's, yeah, yeah, it's just a piece of candy that's come to life. So I think that this is definitely marketed more for kids. The five to 12 age range before kids really become just like... Angsty. Angsty and just yeah. like mad at everything. And then you've got sour strips. These are clearly not for small children. These are angry, angry sour candy. Like the apples on here, they just look like they're about to punch you in the face, I guess yeah. with sourness, right? Looks like you right? went down the wrong alley to try candy, which never tried candy in an alley anyway. <gasps> No. Especially not this apple. Yeah, I mean, if you were walking down the street and you saw these apples and blue raspberries, I'd probably want to turn around and head back to like Haribo Street. Yeah, because I don't feel that like seems nice. Yeah, he yeah. just he looks like he's eaten a lot of candy today. Yeah, and like the best candy because he's so happy and yeah. just like the happy yes. world of Haribo. Sing. <laughs> The happy world of Haribo, yes. Yeah. Straight away, that's the first thing you notice. But as far as like calories and serving size. They're pretty similar. Yeah, but if you notice, like clearly these are it's a little bit size wider, different. maybe a little thicker. So mm -hmm. they're shorter, these are longer. It, it's all about the same, you know. Even the ingredients in both of these are very similar. They both have sugar. They both have malic acid, which is kind of what makes them sour. Citric acids in both of them. And then there's another thing that I need to bring to your attention. They both contain wheat. So unfortunately, for the rest of this video, Henry doesn't get to participate because- Or I get to go home. He, it's one of the two. He doesn't get to go home. He lives here now. <laughs> he doesn't get to participate because, well, wheat allergies, gluten allergies, that's a thing. I kind of made it up to get out of helping. We don't want you to suffer. Uh, no. So he's not going to participate in the taste test that we do. So these bad boys, just like a lot of Haribo products, have sorbitol, which we did a previous video on, and that can run right through some people like this guy. But I'm gonna do a taste test, and we are going to compare the flavor how does this stack up against other blue raspberry candies that I've had mm -hmm. in the past? Does it taste like blue raspberry? Does it compare to the blue raspberry of this? Does the green apple in here compare to the green apple in here? And does that live up to just my standard for green apple candies? And then the other okay. thing we're going to compare is this thing right here, zing. Do they really have zing? Are they really that sour? Is it gonna make my face just look angry? So, while I get blindfolded to prepare for our great taste test experience, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Like the video, share it, do whatever you want. I'm gonna get suited up. We're gonna go uh, put some of these on a plate because Henry gets to feed me like a little baby bird. So, we'll be right back. So clearly, I'm blindfolded and I'm ready. And to, I'm not. To taste test some candy. Henry is not blindfolded, so Henry gets to yep. be the one to feed me. And yes. we not said he was like gonna a baby feed bird. Feed me like a baby bird, but no. apparently that's not gonna happen because yeah. apparently birds like chew up the food and then they spit it into the baby's mouth yeah. and he can't even touch this, let alone this eat it. This is also not one of those videos. It's not, it's yeah. not a, it's not a nature video or anything weird like that. Oh, well, 
That's a, that's a relief. I'm just gonna <laughs> eat some candy, and I didn't want to like yeah. unfairly have an advantage by feeling the candy ahead of time. So Henry's just gonna, mm -hmm. just gonna put it in my mouth, and I'm just gonna eat yeah. it. It's gonna be great. <laughs> I don't wanna brag, but like, I'm pretty okay at like identifying candy, so. <laughs> First, we're determining which flavor is the superior. And I'd say we should judge him on color, but that's gonna be kind of hard for you. I cannot see anything. And we will start with this bad boy, which is green apple. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> have a good mouth feel? No. No? <laughs> have a twang to it? Is that good coughing or bad coughing? It's something. It was a very small piece that you gave me, but it was definitely apple. Definitely apple. Definitely so apple. So far, so good. It wasn't not sour, but let's try the next one. Ta-da. <gasps> okay, so texture-wise, very similar to the other one. Tastes very nice. apple-y. That checks out. Not sour. Yes. On a scale of one to five, that one's maybe like a like a one. It's oh, wow. very low. Okay. Very low on the sour scale. So very mild. Uh, the other one, when compared to that, and on a scale of one to five, sourness, I'd maybe put it at like a three. Okay. I was choking because I got like acid and sugar <laughs> back in the because back of my throat. Because it was sour, yeah. Caught me off guard. Okay. But flavor-wise, both apple, I can tell that. But I think the second one was more apple-y. It was a better apple. It was, okay. It was a it's better apple. It's more what apple. you would expect. Like good apple, bad apple, it was, it was a better, it was a good apple. So depending on what you want, you know, do you want that like green apple flavor mm -hmm. or do you want sourness? One has one thing and the other one has the other thing. So right. I can't really say that one of them had all the flavor and the sour. Mm -hmm. It was definitely a split. Yeah. Let's see how the blue raspberry does. Yeah, now these colors are a lot closer. I'll give them that. Are but they I also both don't, very blue? They're both very blue. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. No pressure, we're all counting on you. Mm. It tastes like a wild blue raspberry that we've all seen in the wild. It's definitely not apple. That is good, mm -hmm. with you so far. Yeah, I'm not really sure what blue raspberries taste like because I don't think they really exist. I don't think they do either. But it does taste like raspberry. Does it taste blue? I can't taste color. Fair, fair, <laughs> fair. <laughs> We're gonna see if the second one tastes blue, but green streaks. Are, are you ready? Am I ready? Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Ta da! Oh shit! <laughs> okay, technical difficulties. Take two. This time you gotta really want it. There you go. <laughs> this is how all the top guys do it. Don't worry, guys. This is very standard procedure. Okay, so. Still blue flavored. Still blue flavored. Not a great blue flavor. Different. Ugh. I don't it, know. Is it almost metallic? Give me more of that one. That piece More was really, that yeah, that piece was really small. Here you go. <gasps> Just a little bit bigger. <laughs> Just to really make sure we get the flavor. Yeah, yeah, appreciate that. Lots of blue, lots of raspberry, lots of sour. No. No? The flavor's not good. I would rather eat the other one. And it doesn't taste that... as sour as the green apple. So it's just generally not as good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 10 out of 10, like would not recommend. Not a fan. And the bigger piece didn't help. Just made it worse. It still wasn't all that sour. Now maybe I just have a high tolerance for sour. I don't know. I have a very low tolerance for spicy. And an instant sriracha flavor. Mm -hmm. But I okay. think I have a fairly high tolerance for sour. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what that says about me. Okay. Maybe I'm just generally bitter. I don't know. The first one, not mm -hmm. very sour. But the flavor, pretty the good. The flavor was good. Okay. Second one, a little sour, but not as sour as the green apples that I had. And flavor-wise, not that great. Tasted like candy that was trying to taste like a fruit. Does that make sense? Kind of. Yeah. Like it. Mm. It's just hard not tasting it, you know? But, yeah, no, please don't. Yeah. So welcome back to the world. Ugh, can't see. But it seems like the overall consensus is these Haribo ones have a really good flavor, but they're not very sour or tart. And then the super angsty sour stripe ones are sour, but they don't really taste like they should. It's just sour for sour sake. So these are really good for your angsty, edgy teen who just wants to be hardcore. And then these are great for kids who just, they just want the flavor. They're just in here for a good time. Yeah. I mean, they both, they both have like, a hint of sour, mm -hmm. both of these flavors, but it's just not anything that's really like 
you know. Doesn't like hit you. Yeah. 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 So definitely I would give these to a kid. Like small child-ish. And these I would give Fortify. to a kid if I really don't like the kid. That's yeah. what it sounds like. Yeah, because it's yeah. like, here's some sour candy and it doesn't taste that much like the flavor. I mean, even the color is kind of jarring. Like, the color is very different. I mean, my closest comparison is really Listerine or NyQuil. Like, that's not a, it's not a natural looking food color. I don't know. Both of them are very weird because they just have an insane amount of sugar and acid on it. So you kind of have to get past all of that before you really get to the flavor anyway. But, is that like tug of war with your taste buds? Yeah. But I still think that these have more true to fruit flavor. This tastes more like a blue raspberry Jolly Rancher. I feel right, like it's what you I would feel expect. like Jolly Ranchers really set the bar high for like the flavor yeah, of their no, candies. You know, like the cherry ones definitely taste like cherry candy. Mm -hmm. These apple and the blue raspberry, it's just really, really on point. But again, the zing on here, it's a little misleading. It's lowercase zing. It would be interesting to give these to someone with a low sour tolerance. Cause again, okay. I think that maybe I just have a pretty high sour tolerance. So it's difficult well, for me to rank them, but well, these are definitely not as sour as those. Would you say this is more or less sour than an actual green apple? Maybe less. They both have ups and downs, you know, peaks and valleys. Mm -hmm. If you're wanting flavor, go for the Arabo. But if you're wanting that sourness, go for the sour strips. Maybe this was helpful to you. Maybe it wasn't helpful at all. Maybe your opinions are completely different. If you've tried either of these, let us know in the comments. Let us know what you think, because maybe I'm completely off base. I'm only one person. And since you can't even eat them, mm. kind of difficult. All around, not bad, not bad. You've got sour, you've got flavor, but you don't really have both. Mm -hmm. That's our comparison of Haribo Sour Streamers, which are not very sour, and Sour Strips, which don't really taste like the flavor. Until next time, bye guys. Bye.